Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today with another tutorial. This was requested um, on YouTube or Instagram, I think, by someone who wanted me to show you how to do some typography using a 3D camera versus just, you know, normal 2D stuff using maybe a no layer. Um, it was specifically requested for how I created the typography my with you, uh, AMV. And this, like I said, uses a 3D camera, so I'll just go ahead and show you a good example. All right, so we're not going to go super in depth on what uh, I did exactly for that, but I'm just going to give you guys the basis so that way you guys can really get creative with it. Um, so what we're going to do? Go ahead, and create a new composition here. Uh, make sure it's you know whatever size you want it to be. All those good settings. 1280. Cool. And then um, assuming you're going to have your song and you, this is not right. There we go. And make sure you're, you know, you have all that good stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and just create some text. Sample text. Cool. And you're just gonna place this wherever you want. And now you're gonna import a new camera. This is you can have the settings on whatever you want it to be. I just like to keep them default and a new. Um, a new null layer. So this is something that I had explained in previous tutorials is really good. And I'm going to make it a 3D null and parent the camera to that. Cool, so now we have the null controlling uh, the position and all that good stuff of the, of the camera. And we'll go ahead and make any text and stuff backgrounds you want in 3D as well. So now we can see the camera's moving in and out on the text. You know, left and right, all that good stuff. So <clears throat> One thing you want to know when, uh, especially when keyframing and stuff like this, is so say we want to have, we want to zoom in on the text. I'm going to make sure this text is centered first. Uh, that's all right. There we go. All right. So let's say we want to have it like have the text like kind of zoom out from it, like we're going through the letters like that. So number one, obviously, you want to make sure you're not going to go into a letter. So if I have this just like placed slightly over to the side. If you go into like this letter L right here, there's gonna be a, the screen's gonna flash one, and it's gonna look really weird, I guess. So make sure you go in between letters, so that that's just you know whether or not you're placing the letters right. That's not too hard. But so we're gonna go all the way into it. We're gonna place our first keyframe, and we're gonna go to where it comes out. So we'll say here at like three seconds, and place our second one. Perfect. Now when you're doing typography. You want the text, what I always do is, um, assuming the, the singing or the talking, how, whatever is cueing the text, make sure that is when the, the keyframe is moving the fastest. So that's not where you want the endpoint to be, that's where you want it to be moving the fastest. And I'll explain what I mean here in a second. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click on position right here, and then go into our graph editor. And then we're going to highlight everything so just by clicking and dragging hit this third button here from the right to easy ease it and now like i said so if we right here in the middle if i place a little marker here hold on you can't see it so with this marker right here say that's where uh someone says sample text or you know whatever word you got going on here this is showing you the speed for position is showing you the speed of how fast the camera is moving so we want that to be moving the fastest there so we're going to click on one endpoint and bring this handle all the way in and click on the other endpoint and bring the handle all the way in again. So now, as we can see here, the graph says, at this point where the word is said, we're moving at 1,500 pixels per second. Um, the numbers are kind of arbitrary, just more or less look the shape of the graph, uh, unless you're getting super specific, but that's, that's not really important with something like this. And that way the word is said, but obviously someone's not going to say an entire word in one frame. So when the word is started, you can see the text, and then as it slows, the person should be done saying the word, and you can start moving on to, uh, you know, what whatever next is going to come up, whether it's a picture or or more words with the typography. So we can just keyframe this or ramp preview. You can see it's slow, and then it comes out like that. Perfect. All right, now one thing that's good with using a 3D camera for uh, typography is if you really want to, you don't have to have any sort of text transitions. You can just kind of move the camera around the space. So I'm going to extend this composition so we have a little bit more time to work with here for a second. 
Uh, go from three to ten seconds. Sounds about good. Cool. Okay, so now uh, with typography, just like anything else, you want something. You want it to be smooth. You want the the camera to have not a lot of motion in it, but you want to feel like it's constantly moving. So there's no like quick stopping and quick starting and stuff like that. You want to feel like it's fluid. This is something uh, I also explained in one of my quick tutorials on how to keep flow going. So we're gonna make another. What am I doing? We're gonna make an, uh, another word here. I'm gonna say hello, exclamation point, of course. Make this a 3D layer, and we're going to let's see where do we want to move this? Let's see where is it first of all? 60. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we want it to. We just say we'll move it down. Here we'll move it a little bit closer to the camera. And we'll move it down a bit. So if I uh, scroll out here using the scroll wheel, you can see it's down here, and it's a. Uh, we know it's forward because we moved this, moved the Z coordinate. Cool. So with the uh, if the word hello is said right here, at like 3:30 or something like that, what we can do is go over here about to about a second layer later. Oh, here we're gonna move this out. Make sure you have your camera extended all the way out for the whole composition, or else. Uh, It'll deactivate, you know, just go back to a like standard view. Okay, but so let's go to uh, 430 here and move the camera so it's down and see where hello is. Hello is kind of big, so we're going to zoom it out a little bit too. And go like that. Perfect. So now we have sample text and then hello. We're going to extend this out so you can see it. And then hello. Cool. All right, so let's say here at 3.30, the word hello is said. Place a little marker just so you guys can see it. And we're going to go back into the null, click on the graph editor, and then we're going to make it so it's moving the fastest at that point. All right, now, so if we ramp you this, you're going to see something. So in between this transition right here, the camera actually reaches a point of zero on its velocity, so it stops moving. And... Um, and something like this, it may not look too bad, but uh, if you start getting in a lot of things going on moving in the background, it's going to be really noticeable that the camera's stopping. So one easy trick to stop this is if you take this hand uh, or the, the keyframe right here, double click it, it'll bring up a keyframe velocity window. Uh, if that's not working for some reason, mine glitches out sometimes, you can highlight it, right click and do keyframe velocity right here. And you're going to hit continuous lock outgoing to incoming. And you can change the speed to something, you know, relatively small number. So for something like this, maybe like 25 uh, pixels per second. And that will keep it so it's still moving the whole time. It doesn't ever reach a point of zero until the camera is completely done with its movement. Maybe a little bit harder to tell here, but it definitely keeps the, uh, the project moving smoother, more fluid, and uh, it looks a little bit better. Now, one thing you can notice is that it's not moving straight to the word hello. It has sort of a curve. So instead of just moving straight back, <coughs> excuse me. So instead of just moving straight back, it has a little curve. It looks like it loops. A lot of the times it looks really nice, like I'm saying, because it's, uh, it's smooth. But if you don't want that, you can uh, highlight all of the position keyframes. Right-click, go to keyframe interpolation, and set it from, right now it's on auto bezier on the spatial interpolation. And you can change that to linear. Uh, don't mess with the temp. Uh, what's it called? Temporal inter interpolation. That's actually what easy ease is. So that's like how it's uh, changing at a different speed with time. So don't mess with that because you already changed it. And then I'm not too sure roving is just so mess with it. <laughs> but now we can see it goes straight out, and then it moves straight to the next one instead of uh, kind of curving to it. All right, so that's pretty much it. There's a lot of other things you can do as far as uh, transitioning text. Uh, I'll show you one really quick, but I think you guys will get the point of what I'm saying. So let's say we come over here to the word hello, and then now I want this hello to change to something else. So we're going to go ahead and keyframe the rotation. This is a really easy one, and we're just going to keyframe it on the Y. So it will spin uh, around the Y axis, so that's like around like this. And if you go from 0 up to 90, It'll be completely flat <coughs> in relation to the camera, so you actually can't see it. If this uh, little red marker wasn't here showing that there was a layer here, you wouldn't be able to see it. So when it's rendered, you can't see it right there.
and we're going to go ahead and cut the clip there and then we're going to bring in a different word so what i did i just duplicated the layer and took off all the keyframes move it here and now we're going to keyframe from actually negative 90 so it continues the rotation to zero and now we can change this word to goodbye or you know whatever you want and then now just make it smooth so you know how to do this go ahead easy ease in the keyframes we've been over this quite a bit just make it slow to fast when the word hello is leaving and then fast to slow when the word goodbye is coming in So now that we've done that, you'll see the word will kind of spin around and just like it'll appear out of nowhere. That's a really simple transition that looks really that looks really good when you uh, put it in practice. All right, and that's going to be pretty much it. Um, the one last tip I would give you is if you're using a no layer to control the camera and you want to do some rotating of the camera, uh, if you rotate this no layer, changing the positions can get a bit confusing because now up is now left and like if I move this 90 degrees, I'll show you what I mean. So if I change it on the Z axis to like 90 and I try to move the position, the Y coordinate here you think would be up and down, but now it's left and right. So that can be a little bit confusing. You can definitely get around that easily. Um, you know, if you just kind of pay attention to what you're doing, but if you don't want to have to really pay attention, you can always just parent a new null layer to it. So we'll go in null object, put this right above the other one and parent the first one to the second one and then have this one only control the rotation. So now if I change the Z to 90, what is that? Okay, hold on. this Y still goes up and down. That way it may be a little bit easier for you to, uh, I guess, wrap your head around if, uh, if that's easier for you. If not, just play around with it a bit, you know, get creative. If you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments below. I can go really in depth with this if you want, but that's gonna be a really long tutorial and uh, I don't know <laughs> that much. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Soren and I'm out. Thanks. Mm -hmm.